Hello, it's Jam Games here once again, and in this video we are going to add the ability to uh, jump when we are at uh, when we are crouching, or when we are crouching when we press the jump button, we will first stand up and then jump, and also we will fix the little bug that we have when we do like I will show you if we like uh, jump and when the ra landing animation is playing, we uh, if we press the uh, Crouch button, then, like this, it glitches, you can see, because those two animations interrupt each other, so it doesn't look good. And if you're brown, we cannot jump, so yeah, let's fix that. First, let's open the PP first person character, like this. And now I already added some things to here, let's just copy all of these and remove. Now let's uh, just create a new function called uh, jump. So let's create a new function. Let's call it jump, and we have to add a little space. So, okay, like that. Now we want to connect that jump uh, function to here to the trigger. Okay, now we have it here. Now we actually want to open this jump and what we want to create here is we want to copy that, that thing we had there before. So now we have the branch and the standing crouching uh, variable. If it's zero then we can jump. But now we have to do one more thing. We want to add a uh, create a new variable which should be called jump af after or something like that and now let's compile and after now we want to set it to false before the jump like when we jump it always sets it to false and if the animation is not equal to zero then we want to set the jump after variable to True, like that, and now we want to call the crouch anim uh, function. Crouch, call function crouch. This one, like that. And now everything here is done, so let's compile, save, and click this crouch uh, function. Now we go back here. And what we have to do here is a we want to we have to create uh, do one a uh, few things. We actually want to move all this after the timeline to the right like this and then we want to go to the components and find the land animation this one and now we want to get the land animation and stop okay now we want to connect it to here before the uh, timeline like this and also we have to uh, get the First person camera, like this. Now here we need to get relative location. We have to get the relative location like this. Now we want to split this. And from this set, we actually now we want to or need to find our land camera relative height. Now let's set it from here. Connect it and connect it to the play from start. Now we want to connect the set value to there, like this. And actually, I will move this a little bit further away, so looks better. And now I also want to align all this. Okay, now it. Oh, actually, let's do it like this. Okay, now it's aligned. Okay, we have done uh, all those things. <laughs> Now we want to go here, and here we want to, we actually want to change these values. We have to get the get a land camera uh, relative height and get it. And we want to connect to the option 0 and option 1 from the A, like this. And I will align it once more. Okay, and move this like that. <coughs> Now what we have to do, we have to go here, after the finished, 
and we want to create a branch so keep the p pressed and left click like this and i will align this once more and now we want to check if we want to uh, jump after and if we want uh, have the jump if the jump after is true then we want to call the jump uh, function this call function jump like that now i think those things things should work so now if we uh, are on the crouch and we jump it goes up and jump so like this same thing as when we are crouching and we want to run it gets up and start running now if we yeah it works now let's check the landing animation if it works so when we land just keep the press the crouch okay everything works perfectly now we don't have any bugs now it's super smooth okay if we're crouching we jump and we click the crouch we're crouching jump everything works so that's cool that's good and now what we want to do we want to reorganize the this blueprint a little bit because this looks this look looks a little bit like i don't know weird this isn't organized so first thing i want to move all these like this and press the c so comment and i want to call this fire i want to change the color to light uh red like that i will move it to here now the next thing we want to do i want to move uh select all this and comment and i will move it to here okay and i will actually make it a little bit bigger we want space maybe later in the future i don't know and i will make this like light yellow or something like that i don't know or maybe like this and the next thing we want is this ads event let's comment and move it to here and actually i forgot to change this comment name it should be like recoil like that here let's call this ads and this ads uh, event I want to change this color to light blue maybe like maybe like that and I will make it a little bit bigger so like that like that I will actually make this even bigger and also this just a little bit like that and then we have this uh, reloading custom event here let's add a comment also and let's call it reloading okay did i write it reloading yeah now let's move it to there also i will add a little space to here and move it to right okay and now we have to what is this doing here okay i don't know why it was like that but it shouldn't be like that it should be yeah it should be here and now I will add a little bit here to here and make this like the same size. And now for this one, I will make a, I will change this color to light, maybe like orange, light orange like that. And now what we have here, we actually want to, let's check what we want to do next. So, um, I think we actually want to add a comment also to here to the event tick, and I will like to make it bigger, like that, and like that, and like that. Yep. And now I will move all of that to here. Now we make this light um, green, maybe. Green is good for this. I remember green is thick. Okay. Now, for all of these other things, we actually want to. First thing we have here is this restore health. Let's move it here. Just, I think I want to move all the restore stuff to here. Make it a little bit bigger. 
maybe even more like that let's move it to there and let's check it has three dots okay or oh, three squares now we have the another restore this restore stamina let's comment restore stamina and let's make it also like light uh, red maybe then not that like this okay now let's move it to here okay then we want to what is this input action reload um actually we want to move this input action reload and to move this all here to the reloading maybe here because we have space here okay good then we have many other things what we want to mm, let's check actually mm, where is our landing stuff landing and fall damage they are all here so let's make those like uh, one so let's select all this comment and let's make it bigger straight away like that maybe like this and from here let's give it a little space and also here now we want to move this to actually let's first move this all a little bit further down and now we can move this to here maybe okay now it has three squares in between and now the other stuff that we have here which is this crouch function or event we actually want to let's first comment on this switch to switch slot switch slot thing so comment let's make it a little bit bigger once more like that yeah let's call this switch slot and now I will, I will actually compile and save because i'm really pressing sometimes and now i want to move this to here so i can move this uh, switch the slot i will move make it like this now it has three okay it's good and then the next one should be this one let's call it um call it sprint sprint now i will make this bigger again yeah and i will move it to here like that and also what we have there this one does it fit there i don't actually know let's check check if it fits actually we want to move okay let's do this before okay so uh this is the crouch event so comment crouch last stand up like that now let's check if it fits there yes it does perfectly almost okay we don't have much space between so should be should be like a okay let's first align it with those now it has three there are two let's just move all of this like more here so it aligns with that and now we have three there in between and let's make this uh this even bigger because we will need more things to there like now it's like that i think we want to move all this one up now there is four there is three there is three okay they are not like let's just move this okay and now this one input action uh, ads let's call this just ads input for example and let's move it to here and let's make it a little bit bigger also a little bit bigger go up 
that, like that, and like that. Let's move this to here, there. Okay, now I think it looks better. And what else? What else we want to do? Everything is pretty nicely lined. Uh, what was this? Uh, this was full damage and. Okay, let's call this like landing and fall damage like that. And I will actually, I want to make this like light red also because I don't know, I just want to make it like that. You can of course choose whatever colors you want. Crouch, stand up, it can be like that, white, print, and switch slot sprint. Let's make the sprint like add some color to it. Let's make it like I will make it like light blue or something like that. Something like that. Now it's organized a little bit better. So all the restore, restore health, restore stamina stuff are here. And all the things here are the basic default like stuff is and this is the ADS input fire recoil ADS and reloading all the gun stuff is here in the middle and here is here are all the actions so switch slot sprint crouch stand up and landing and fall damage this actually doesn't belong to here basically but can be there later on we can move it to somewhere if we add or when we add some more functions or like uh, input actions or something like that but yeah now I actually want to move these all the uh, actually yeah let's go to the route stand up what is this okay this is timeline so let's Change this name to TL or add the TL at the end, or actually I will add underscore TL to everything. What is this timeline? Uh, where can I find it? So this not, nothing. I don't know why it's there. Uh, what? What is this timeline? I cannot. I don't know where it is. Is it something from here? I will check. Oh, it's this set restore health one. So let's change this name to set restore health underscore TL. Yeah, it was that. Now stand crouching closer set restore stamina. Let's call it also underscore TL. And land animation, it is also a timeline. So unders underscore TL. And now everything is like that, okay? That's good. Now we actually, I want to move this here. The is ADS is reloading and screening. Let's move it also to there with the other booleans and stamina restoring and jump after. Let's move all of those there. Stand, crouch. Um, Can, it can be there. Okay, I think it's all a lot better. You can add more like folders or categories here if you want, like this, weapon stats and stuff like that. But this is good for me now. Maybe later we will do something else with this, but it's organized a lot better and everything should work still. Like we jump, we crouch, yeah, crouch. If we're crouching and we jump, yeah, and speeds are like 450, 300, 250, 350, and about the sprints, 675, jump, crouch. Okay, everything works. I think this was all for this video. If you liked what you saw and you learned something new, please click the like button. And if you want to continue watching the T series, please click the subscribe button. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.